Hi, so it's been a little while since my last video and I finally got my new glasses sorted out so here they are. So these are my distance glasses. Um, it's a mild plus on both eyes so here they are. Uh, these are also my reading glasses, obviously a stronger plus both eyes and also with a bit of prism and here they are. So if we go back to these just for the moment. Uh, so in my last video or couple of videos, it's been quite a while, um, I talked about getting a bit more thorough examination um, to see how many problems there might be. Um, so we found out straight off the bat that I had dry eyes, um, so I've been given some things for that and some advice um, how to manage this. That was making some things uncomfortable uh, for me. Um, then we looked to see if um, I might need a prism or, or anything like that um, because I, I was a bit of a head tipper and also um, I was prescribed prisms at one time uh, for convergence so there certainly was a convergence issue but for some reason the glasses really didn't work that well uh, after a bit so I stopped using them. Um, we didn't look so much at the third point which is light sensitivity um, but we did um, I, I, to be honest, I thought, let, let's stick with what we have, see how it works out, and then, you know, if I find I'm getting terribly sensitive, I can go back, um, but that hasn't happened. Now, there, there is still an issue with light sensitivity, um, but I've been given some advice on how we can work with that without needing to get an extra pair of glasses since the ones I have are working actually quite well for me. Um, so these ones here, um, this is about a plus one and this is about um, one, 150, 175. So the, these are my everyday um, and given <laughs> In my other videos, I've had quite a lot more plus. Um, you might be wondering, uh, what's going on here? So what has happened is that since I had a splint for my teeth and a little bit was shaved off um, my, my bottom teeth, it seems to have evened out my vision. So my vision used to be very, very changeable um, and I seem to have really um, quite strong so uh, long-sightedness. But I would have the, the um, situation where it would come and go. So I'd have s something stupid like... Um, 10 diopters of accommodation in me um, and now what seems to have happened since I've worn these which keeps my mouth in more the same place and also since I've had my teeth shaved my mouth is a lot more stable my head is a lot more stable so I, I haven't got this tipping my jaw back and forth from side to side. It's evened out my vision um, a lot as well. So it's taken the very top end of the long sightedness off. And it's also taken the bottom end off as, as well. So 
it it is obvious that there is um, at least a bit of long sightedness there now, um, and that was also uh, found out under an auto refractor as well. Much as I don't like auto refractors, um, this auto refractor actually got it a bit more right on this occasion. Um, so one thing that is different, um, which I didn't do before, was I've um, I've accepted um, a prescription for astigmatism. Now the reason um, that I never used to do that with the previous glasses was because in the early days when I very first went to the optician and got glasses, um, I was given the prescription for astigmatism, but it would it, it would be uncomfortable and it felt like my eyes were being actually squashed downwards or, or squashed like this um, and it didn't go away it just got worse and also I was tipping my head to accommodate for the glasses so um, you know, I did try with it, but it wasn't helping. It just made me worse. So I stopped um, taking anything for astigmatism for many years. And I just went with strength and spherical. And that was it. And this time I thought, well, let's give it a try. And obviously what is different this time is that... Um, the optician looked a bit more carefully at each eye, sp uh, spent time doing the tests um, and spent time trying to work out, you know, what I was, would tolerate, what was comfortable for me. Um, so I've had these uh, about a month now and I've got to say I like wearing them. Um, at first when I got them I thought well if I can just put something on uh, you know for five minutes to enjoy a lovely view that would be a plus but I'm actually wearing these quite a lot of the time so you know and it's been a month and they're working very very nicely for me um, so yeah um, I'm using them in work I can if I want to drive, then these are the glasses I'd, I'd be wearing. Um, so, you know, th this is a very good result. Okay, so what are the snags? Because um, it's not 100% perfect, but knowing my eyes, you know, I'm not expecting perfection. Um, so, in very bright conditions, my left eye is doing what my left eye does, um, which is it gets a lot more sensitive and tries to move outwards a bit. Um, so it, it reacts a bit more strongly to light than, than the right eye. Um, so when I went back to ask for my second pair, um, what I wanted was maybe a foil or, you know, a, a bit of plastic um, or, or cellophane or, or something that I could just put over one eye to make it a, a little bit, um, you know, for, to, to shade it just a little bit. Not, not very much um, so that... Um, I can use it in those brighter conditions and hopefully be able to then just move on to non-shaded glasses. And what, what he suggested was 
really we we don't have anything like that but I would suggest see if you can go to a craft shop and you can just put some um, if you can find some colored tape you can just put that over that eye that would be perfectly okay and I mean part of the reason um, it's happening with the left eye um, is because I've got this hidden um, strabismus so you know the fact the eye moves a little bit it, it does make it a bit more sensitive um, and the other reason is because there is astigmatism I, I think I've got it on both eyes but obviously what's on the left eye that's making me a bit more sensitive to light so yeah that's this pair here now the reading glasses um, these have a bit of a prism in uh, they got something like a two prism so if I put these on I would use these for reading the paper or probably more light reading um, what what I found is that these still work best for any substantial reading that I do um, and I think I think a part of that is because it's very new um, using these with, with a prism so it's it's a different type of reading I've just it's it's a case of taking time getting used to them uh, seeing how they work out what I do find is I can't really see small print that that well with them that is okay for me because if if they fog things you know the very smaller details out it means that I can't strain my eyes um, trying to look at the smaller details so that actually is it isn't so bad um, so I I honestly don't know how these will work out um, I'm glad I've got them. I think I can use them. I, you know, I do use them a bit, um, not as much as I hoped I would. But I think that it's a case of giving these a bit of time. So this is where I am with with my glasses um, and with my vision, and it is actually really, really nice to have something that uh, is functioning th this well um, and obviously it's quite different from what what I've had before and you know I've got to say the important thing is uh, the optician he listened to me he didn't agree with everything but he could see where I was coming from and what you know um, he worked with me and you know we tried to work out a solution together and um, really really important was when I said look I I have it like this because I have to go to work you know I want to go to work have a life um, you know have a social life uh, be able to function um, so if I want to do any of these things then this is how I have my glasses and he got it um, because I mean it's not just me I've seen I've seen this with other people um, you know they, they find they can't do their job um, because their glasses are so bad and the optician just doesn't care and he got it he's, you know he was very practical in his outlook so now I, I got to say um, a couple of the opticians I've had before um, who've 
really helped me and tried to find a solution. Um, you know, this is absolutely no reflection on them. Um, I mean, this is really, once I got this with my teeth in place, um, this really changed everything quite a lot. Um, you know, so I went to this optician with quite different uh, vision and quite different circumstances than I had before. Um, so, I mean, there, there's that. Um, so it's definitely not a reflection on my previous opticians. Uh, so, yeah, this is how it's worked out. Um, so, yeah, uh, that just wraps it up for now. So I really hope that was helpful to anyone. Um, if you, you know, please like and subscribe and hope to see you in the next video.